Josh Gross. How are you? Jungle Boy. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you, sir. Mate, it's a pretty deadly mural you've done here in the Bloomfield Street underpass. It's really bloody spectacular. I'm going to start with knowing a bit about you, though. Where, where are you from? What's your oh, story? Like a boy, born and bred in Redlands. Grew up in Wynnum, between Wynnum and Stradley. Um, Fantastic. Yeah. And tell us about, tell us a bit about the mural, first up. Tell us a bit about the story, but on the side and on the roof in particular, it looks yeah. fantastic. Yeah, well, the sides and the, on both sides actually, just really scenery pressure just to uh, highlight and brighten the place up as you walk through. But as you're saying, the picture on the roof, that's more to the story of what I was trying to paint through here. And it's, you know, it's, it depicts a snake that runs from one end to the other. In particular, the carpet snake. The carpet snake is one of the totems from home, and one of my totems in particular. But um, home on Minjeriba. On Minjeriba, yeah. It's a direct descendant. The carpet snake's a direct descendant of the Rainbow Serpent, which is the creator of the land that we stand on, the whole of Australia. And the journey that I put beside him is people walking and following the Rainbow Serpent's tracks through life. And yeah, that's pretty much what the. What the I noticed as I walked through before with you, it goes from light to dark down one side. What's that? Yeah, mean? Um, we've got different colours representing different things within our culture. And I've utilised the black and the white as the tracks run through. The white is more of the spirit and it you know, embodies us as we're alive. And then as it goes through, we'll head towards more of this black as it heads towards this end, which is you know, like the afterlife, is, but it's, the journey continues. So it hasn't stopped. When we're here today in the white, it keeps going through and then you know, life just continues. We might not be here physically, but we're still here and it carries on. And I noticed some of the, um, even though the sides are more decorative, some of the animals and the plants, they're yeah, just mainly from Minjarabar as well. Yeah, well, the kangaroos, yeah. We've got an emu on this side that's, we've got no emus over home, but no. <laughs> I'm sure back in the day over this side of town, there would have been emus that would have laid eggs. And, Run around through here again. And and just onto the practical side, this must have taken a bit of effort and a bit of paint. Can you tell us a bit more about the um, the process and uh, any of the challenges you had? Yeah, I think it would have been close to about 30 hours, 40 hours work through here, but that was spread out over about a week and a half due to the rain and the wind that cuts through here. Mm. While painting, I was watching the spray cans just blow the, oh, the wind blow the spray cans. Well, straight down there before it even hit the wall, but you know, some of the challenges I had was the, yeah, the weather and the rain. A fair bit of spray cans got put into it. And, and I believe they're your hand prints up on the roof. Yeah, and you are. did that just by stretching. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty amazing, mate. How are the shoulders? Sore. Yeah, sore. They're pretty sore today, but the joys of being tall, I was able to reach to the roof. Mate, it's really lighting the place up. I just love it. I mean, I live here in Cleveland, so I'll be I'll be using it. A lot of the school kids coming through. So, well done, mate. I think it's a deadly job. Yeah, thank Terrific. you. Terrific. <laughs>